All right, boys. Welcome back. Um, in the last episode, oh shit, completely fucking missed you. <sighs> what did I do in the last episode? I'm pretty sure in the last episode I was just fucking around in this general area. Um, I said that I was going to do the the mission log or the overseer's log that was in this uh, mine site. I did it, and then, however, it tells you that you have to kill Evan. Evan is, I don't know, an overseer's friend or something, and he's turned into one of those scorched fucking ghoul things. However, it seems to be bugged. Like, if someone else in this game has done the mission and killed him, when you personally go there, he's already dead. Like, oh, fuck it. Let's... Let's just travel there. Uh, ten caps. Fuck, good enough. What do you mean? What, what enemies? Are there? Are there? Let's just go around this corner. Hide in the bush. Let's try this again. I, I don't understand. Where's these enemies? Where's this enemy at? Try this again. Uh, so long. Thanks for that. Yeah. So every time I've gone here, and I, I I've read on um some of the forums and all that, people were saying that you just have to leave the lobby and then re-enter the lobby. I tried that like maybe four or five times yesterday, and I I was pretty much just wasting time. You know. Um, because a lot of people were saying that since it's early and everyone's still competing, completing the uh, main quest, um, yeah, I'm going to continue running into this problem. Now, of course, there's going to be enemies there, and they're just going to want to take my fucking head off. Let's see if we can just fucking. Is that one of those silo fucking ghouls? No, he's got a backpack on, but he's not a silo one. So, it's in here. Yeah, and that's why I didn't really... I, I was recording, but then it turned into me just like constantly leaving the game and rejoining the game. And yeah, it, it wasn't fun. But anyway, this was the overseer's log. Hello. How you doing? Um, I was in the middle of the conversation. Fucking piece of shit. Same with you. Oh shit. I'm just not having a good time, am I? I took on a lot of radiation then. <sighs> Perfect way to start off the episode. So, and I will drink a Nuka Cola Quantum. So, anyway, you listen to the Overseer's log. Um, I suppose I could just play it again for you. <clears throat> it's quite sad. No? Don't, don't want to play? Okay, I guess not. Um, anyway, she says that she comes to look for her friend in the mine site, but then all of a sudden she finds out that her friend has turned into one of those scorched beans. And he's currently down there. Can you not? Ow? How did you kill him? Piece of fucking shit. Oh, sorry. Never melee in this game. Don't, don't do it. Now I actually have to take a stim pack. Fucking, I've only got fucking three of them too. Um, yeah, so that's the key card to get into this basement. Now, I'm gonna show you guys this <clears throat> either way if he's alive or dead. But every time I've come down here, he's been dead. 
meaning another player has taken him out. Holy shit, he's alive. Oh, quickly, kill him. Kill him. Hey, buddy. Jeez, I'm terrible. Well, sick. Yeah, usually you'd come in and you'd find him like lying like this. Just dead. And, um. Oh. I leveled up and got a piece of armor. Oh, shit. Right leg. I'll just take that. I will probably end up scrapping that. Um, level up two. Um, what was I doing before? Exit. I wanted to do some more. I wanted to do some more of that. So, um. Well, we'll have a look at what. We'll have a look what uh, new perks we got. By the way, I'm now level 17. <laughs> yeah, me just rejoining and joining this general area, I was able to level up a few times. Um, yeah, and I... Um, was able to yeah get a quite a bit of XP from um, killing these mole men that are around this area. Uh, damage. I'd like to do more action points, but I'm max, so that's just not going to happen. Um, collect twice as much harvesting wood. Hmm. I want to do something that's going to help me with my travels. Now, the chems or the junk? I'm going to do chems because I can't decrease this. I can decrease junk, but I can't decrease the fucking chems. So I'll do this. Sick. Now, I should have no problems. With um, the aid. Weapons. I have a weapon that I don't need. A short hunting rifle. Let's grab that. No, not drop it. Why did I drop it? <clears throat> also, I, uh, I've, I've been um, a complete idiot. I thought it was like the other Fallout game. Um, Fallout 4, I think Fallout 4? Uh, I don't know, I'm getting confused with all the Fallouts. Um, but I thought all the weapons were the same, but I didn't realise that all the weapons are based on level, so certain enemies will have certain leveled weapons. And so here I am walking around with a level 5 fucking hunting rifle, where I could have been walking around with a level fucking 15 hunting rifle, which would make things a lot more easier. And also, I didn't realize that it is best to just collect as much weapons as you can and scrap them. It gives you more chances of um, unlocking mods um, for those weapons. One at a time, please. Absolute fucking cunt. Um. Oh well. Is there enemy enemies around? Nope. Ah, uh, yep. There's enemies around. 
Oh, love it. Let's just go down here. Let's try this again. Yeah, so scrapping um, weapons and armor. Um, I'm guessing at a workshop, any type of workshop, um, gives you a chance of actually gaining a mod. I'm guessing for any weapon or just that specific weapon or piece of armor. Not 100% sure. Um, well, hello there. How you doing? Just a round. All sorts of things fucking spawn at my base. Do you want to help me? No, there's... No? You guys don't... What if I can lead him into my base? Let's lead him into my base. Come on. My door's wide open. Yeah. Where'd you go? You're just going to destroy my fucking traps. Don't even fucking forget about it. Okay, I guess the torrents aren't feral until someone attacks the torrents. <clears throat> Anywho. Let's go up to the... Scrap items. I have, um... Scrap all the junk first. I will scrap this hunting rifle. Let's see what this does. Yeah, see? Unlocked reflex. Um, the, um, yeah. So it un unlocks little things. And see how my gun is only level 5? I just scrapped level 10, of course. The only reason I'm not scrapping this is because it's got armor-piercing rounds. And they actually do... Um, well, it's just got armor-piercing, so... If I scrap this here... No, this didn't do anything. Sick. Um, shoddy. And also, my shoddy's only, um, level 5 as well, so I need to get a decent shoddy. Which I do actually have, um, a level 20 combat shotgun. I just need a, um, I need to get the level 20. That's what I was going to do. I was going to scrap this and see what the fuck happens. No, was I? Yes. Stabilized sniper barrel. Cool. Alright, now, now, we're, now we're cooking with gas, boys. Damn, I, I gotta remember to cook my shit up. I gotta remember to cook fucking meat. Because I keep letting meat fucking spoil. Um, can I cook anything at the moment? I can, Deathclaw steak. Yeah, by the way, I killed Deathclaw. Not really, I... There was another guy that kind of helped me, and he was level 18, but, um... Yeah, I just randomly had a Deathclaw spawn pretty much right next to me, and it was fucking terrifying. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to do that, um... Nope, what am I doing? Bring up the map. <sighs> I was going to go for that. But that's already claimed. What about up here? There was a... There's another workshop. I think it's that one. That's too fucking far. Well, I guess we'll go for this workshop. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? 
Even though I just fast travel there and I'm just wasting caps. Fuck it. Um, workshops. I, um, I've now developed an understanding of how workshops work. Um, pretty much they're just like public event areas where you can gain or like mine resources for that specific area. And um, I'm just going to try to claim this workshop in this episode. And then hopefully in the next episode I can show you guys how the workshop actually works. And it's actually quite handy. And um, I highly suggest anyone starting off in the game um, to try to claim one. Because it will definitely give you some XP. Now I need to go this way. I just need to kill all the enemies in this general area. Hello. <laughs> Fucking mission. Yeah. Well, damn, I didn't mean to go for a fucking trench. I need to be up there, man. Where's the opening? Oh shit, do I actually... Yeah, I do got my gas mask on. I remember taking it off, but I didn't remember putting it back on. Um, enemies, enemies, enemies. Ow! Where are you? Oh, that's you. Hello. You can pretty much attack these guys from like a uh, distance because they pretty much only rock shotguns. I mean, they are like slowly damaging me, but they don't damage me like a fuck ton. And I don't know why they just decided to attack you from a distance with a fucking shotgun. It's super weird. Um, but that's another reason why you guys should actually give this area a go, because I think each mole man depends on their level. The higher the level is, the um, the more... You see, his shotgun broke, so he's going to come at me. Um, try not to get hit by him. Yeah, see, as I'm, I'm still standing here, I'm still getting peppered with fucking bullets, but my health is, isn't really going down that much. But I found that at the top there, up there somewhere, up there, um, there's a uh, supervisor or a level 30 mole, mole miner. He's the one that you got to be careful of, because he's got a fucking rocket launcher. Started. Also, you can gain a lot of um, shotgun shells here as well. Um, at one stage, I did have over a over a hundred. Um, guess they're all on this side of the fucking mine. Huh? Oh. Hey, dude. How did you survive? How did your mate fight the fucking bullet and you survive? Yeah. 
Ow. What? What hit me from behind? Something hit me from behind. I don't know what the fuck that. Um, actually, I want to see what other weapons I currently have equipped, uh, on me. Let's get this pistol go. I haven't given this pistol go yet. Oh, one of these bad boys. Oh, true. Oh, it's, it's a full automatic. Um, uh, I mean, it does something. I hate that you have to take the finger straight off the trigger in order for it to actually reload. In most games you just kind of just go for it, which is awfully weird. Um, I'm actually going to cut that episode off there, but don't worry, I will upload this episode with the other episode all on the same day, so then it's not like, oh, I don't want to wait another day for it, um, just because we're hitting that 20 minute mark and yeah makes things a lot more easier for me so we'll just continue straight off here on the next one peace